Hey guys, it's Aiden, and welcome to my new LP, Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've been wanting to record, and I just haven't been able to. Due to lots of lame stuff, but I'll explain that here in a moment. I just wanted to get started on this game, because I've been so eager to. Alright, let's do it. Previously in Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2. Goku's son, Gohan, was able to tap into his deepest powers and finally destroy the monstrous cell. Finally, after years of turmoil caused by Dr. Duro's androids, the Earth was brought back to normal. Except for one thing. Goku, who was killed in a desperate attempt to defeat Cell, could not be revived by the powers of the Earth's dragon. And despite a clever plan to bring him back to life, Goku decided to be safer for the Earth if he didn't return. And so, Friends and family were forced to say goodbye to the Saiyan they loved. Ah, uh, look at that view. Despite this terrible loss, the world was finally at peace. Or was it? That can't be good. Herp derp. What the hell's that thing? Somewhere on planet Earth, something ancient and horrible was sleeping. A terror beyond imagination and the forces of evil were preparing to awaken it from its evil primitive. Let's play Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. Dun 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 dun. Chapter 1, The Other World. Yes, uh, this game has about 12 chapters, I believe. And uh, we're going to play it all, all to the end. Here we go. Meanwhile, moons of light years above, along the mining track of Snake Way. Goku is dressing life well in the other world. After dying. Dying sucks. Not that I would know, but... Forgot how long Snake Way was. That's what she said? <laughs> Listen, King Kai, can you run any faster? We're not making very good time. How many times can I say this? We can't make bad time because in this world, time never runs out. Wish that was like that here. <laughs> But I still can't wait to see this master of the other world you told me about. Talk about the ultimate fighting challenge. I have to tell you, Goku. You better not think of him lightly. You're gonna be in trouble. Maybe if I explain. You know I am King Kai. And I watch over Earth and your part of space. But the universe is divided into four quadrants. There's north, south, east, and west quadrants. Each with their own King Kai. But further above us is the Grand Kai. He was over the Kai themselves. Wow. That was a lot of explaining. <laughs> He's also a martial arts master. Plant full of fighters. That's why we have to get rid of right away. See, how do we get there anyway? We have to take like, a higher plane, and it's the end of the snake way. And we're gonna run ahead because we're rebel. Run away! Anyway, time to explain the controls. Use the control pad to move around. Use A to do your melee attacks, which does physical damage. Press B to do your, you know, normal energy blast, which does, uh, you know, special damage. Use L to switch between your attacks. I'll explain those more later. Press R to defend, which wasn't in Legacy Goku 2. And you can press R and B to do a little physical shield in your immune for all damage, but it drains your energy. Um, that red bar is your health, the green is your energy. It's double little RPG stuff. And double tap to run. Yeah, I was gonna explain that, but you had to interrupt me. Stupid box! I blame you for all the world's problems. Because you stopped me from doing things. Jerk. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go on up here. Herp derp. Ooh, puffball things. Am I dead? Yeah, you're dead. Be deaded through deadness. Ness. Can I have the next soul, please? Hi, King Yama. How's it going? Herp derp. Dead again already? <laughs> yeah, we like to die a lot. Not really, though. Don't put a leash on me. I'm not your dog. Or your slave or anything. How'd you die, King Guy? No time for long stories. Where's Sire Plane? I would like some tea. Thank you. I'm going to heaven. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so awesome. So awesome, I know it. Yeah. Wow, he's psyched. What? <laughs> Sorry about that, some weird thing came up. Uh, yeah, he's the first person to see with our bodies, because um, if you die, normally you wouldn't have your body, but Goku's a special exception because, you know, he's awesome and saved the world. 
Ooh. This is the... Wow, look at that shitty plane. So crappy. Like, dude. Really? King Kai's Mansion. This is it, Goku. Great Kai's Planet. Doesn't look like much. Watch your mouth. It's more impressive to your plan, especially since your plan is brought up by Cell. <laughs> I believe you are a very rude man, sir. On fight. Why did you just not even I have the privilege of seeing a gun guy fight? Apparently, no words can. But I guess we'll see. Why don't you go and judge yourself to the other fighters? Yes, this uh, blue thing, it is a save point, which you can save your game and switch characters once we are able to. Uh, anyway, just sit down here. Who's that guy? Greetings, young guy. That's good to see ya. What kind of hell of a voice was that? I have no idea. It's Olibu. Hey, Olibu. How's it going, Earth Dirt? Nice from Earth. 10,000 years of training. And as soon as he's done, he'll train with King Kai himself. Or Grand Kai. 10,000 years, which is over 9,000. Does everyone have to train that long before they can train Grand Kai? Yeah, so you're perfectly qualified. Dude, that's weak. Like, seriously weak. I don't have that kind of time. Five million push-ups? Wow, you have too much time in your hands. But I guess time never runs out. Um, I don't want fighting tips, sir. Because I pretty much explained everything already. You've taught this guy, I'll talk about defending, and it'll take less damage. Uh, the only guy I really want to talk to is this guy right here. It's a wait, weighted clothing. God, I cannot talk. Well, then again, it's been like six months since I recorded. <laughs> Something like that, I don't know. But in this game, you actually have equipment, which affects your stats. Which, um, like see Goku 2 didn't do. Which, I actually kind of like that, to be honest. But, and I just kind of, wait, do things. Wait. Uh, went to boots. It makes us just go slower, but we gain more experience. Armbands, it... Yeah, does the same thing pretty much. See, we're, we're so slow. You're too slow. Bad boy, oh. You pretty much, um, just fight all these guys there. They've been trained for a thousand years? Wow. I just came here. I'm gonna whoop their ass. God, we're so slow. But, it's worth putting on because every experience counts here. But... In this game, you actually start off at level 60, which I forgot to mention. Um, because in the other one, you start at like level 1, or whatever. But since it's uh, a continuation of it, you start off at a higher level. And it's been like 7 years since the last one. I'm not going to have these on long, but we need to be at a certain level by the end of this thing. So it's worth doing. 61, and you gain three stat points, which I'll explain here in a second. Uh, let's see here. And you get money in this game, which, that's what you pick up here. And you can buy items, so it's more RPG-ish, which I really like. Okay, we can use points to increase our stats. Uh, strength is how much physical damage you do, power is how much uh, energy attacks you do, and uh, endurance is how much you can take. I'm gonna do my strength just because. Cause that's what I prefer to do first. Uh, let's see. Let's walk down here. Made it this far. Must be beginner's luck. Nah. See, now we're doing above 60 damage. But this is worth doing because you need to be level 65, I think it is, by the end of this thing. But see how much experience we're getting? So, it's really worth it. Uh, just go over here. How'd you take a shortcut? There were no shortcuts. Just keep attacking this guy and he'll go down, no problem. And we're in 63, and we gain more stat points. Now you gain 3 every time you level up, so you can really uh, choose how you want your stats. But I mostly just go with the uh, strength, just because you want to do a lot of damage quickly. Because the um, bosses in this game are ridiculously easy. Alright, 64. Alright, we're almost there. Ooh, uh, there's the item. Press A to pick it up. And, uh, I'll show you what that is here in a sec. Give me money. 
Uh, let's see, what does that do? Is that a body? No, it's not a body. Um, it looks like it gives us more endurance, which I'm cool with. Wait, am I 65? I don't know, I was paying attention. Nope, 64. Damn it! Oh, I missed. Yeah, good times. All right, let's beat these guys up really quick. And the more times you beat an enemy, the less you know experience you'll get, obviously, because you know they dish out. Because you'll be stronger, which will require more experience level up. It's typical stuff. Yeah, I need to be one more guy. Saw a second come back. Yeah, but you have to grind a lot in this game, especially later on. It gets ridiculous. But okay, we are good. And I'm gonna increase my stat points. I'm gonna give me like 40 strength, so I'll be like ridiculously stronger. Because I'm boss like that. Really? Okay, now I'm gonna take this stuff off because I'm moving too damn slow. And I don't wanna be too slow. Wait, I'll keep that on. Okay, we're good. Yes. I know these are character gates. Uh, the color on it means uh, only a certain person can pass through, but we'll experience more of that later. Okay, if you talk to him, it'll talk about, oh my god, I can't open the gate. Then use your Kamehameha wave, and you'll open it. It's a stronger blast, and it's a continuation. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. No one can go through that. Like, see, if you use your blast, you can't go through it. But we want to use, uh, what the hell is this called? Instant transmission, that's it. And we'll teleport to it, and. Yeah, you teleport for a second to a certain thing, and then once you do that something, you'll teleport back to where you were. It is only used, like, three times about this game. Anyway, let's get back. Pickon's better fighter. Goku's better fighter. Pickon. Goku! Pickon! Goku! Someone shot my name? I'm an army black guy. It's pick on the best fire in the universe. If you must know, pick on the price fire of the West Quadrant. In fact, just the other day, Grand Kai himself stopped an uprising in HFIL. Tome for infinite losers. I've been there when I fought the Snake Way. King Emma sent some evil guy down there named Cell. He messed with some guy named Freeze and they took over the whole place. Cell and Freeza? Piglin is able to kick the of both of them, but no problem. I bet this Goku can do that. Well, Frieza is no problem, but Cell. Hey, you had trouble with Frieza too, dude. Never mind that. Goku is the righteous fighter who saved the side galaxy many times. He's a incredibly strong guy. This guy's reading is no taste an argument. This first time off for Kai's been there in 300 years. Sorry, instead of arguing, we should... Prove which one is better best with a martial arts tournament. Did I hear someone say tournament? Grand Kai. Tournament is a radical idea, and to make things exciting, I'll throw in a free private lesson for whoever brings home the gold. The tournament will be held in my house. I'll see everyone there. Okay, so, um, there is a tournament, but we're going to take care of that next time. Uh, actually, no. I'll make the first part of this whole chapter. And here we are. So the turn began. First fight was Olubu and Chapachi. This fight's actually kind of funny in the anime because uh, this game is directly based off the anime. So, uh, yeah. This one's pretty funny because, uh, Goku gets two a lot. Too bad they don't show it here, but it just shows who wins, basically. Alright. Ah, uh, poor frog. Guy person. Akra. This fight was different. More or less because uh, Goku had to swim throughout the whole thing, but 
Eh, either way, he ended up winning. And here we go. Who will be victorious? This is it, folks. Here we are, the final matchup of the tournament. Competing from the West Quadrant is Pickon. From the North Quadrant, the Rookie Wonder Goku. The best life form win. Let's do it. But I'm gonna re equip those things just because I think it gives a decent amount of experience, so. We're gonna do that. Oh, I can equip that room thing. Um. Sure, whatever. But because I increased my, uh. Thanks so much, I can beat him no problem. Look how easy that is. Is it real full strength? Oh, now he heals. But I've been holding back too. And we go Super Saiyan! And now we have the option, just press L, go to the S and press B when you have enough power. But now I, I can beat him no problem whatsoever. Now we fly up. Whee! Touch him. Epic Clash! How are you alive? <laughs> Pickon has landed outside the ring, and that means Goku's wearing the champion in the other world tournament. Yes, we are pretty awesome. Not a problem. Both Goku and Pycon violated the rules of the tournament, and therefore both fighters have been disqualified. Huh? That's right, Goku. Do you admit that you and Pycon touched the ceiling of the stadium during the fight? Well, according to Article 3, Section 9, Paragraph 1351 of the official rulebook, the stadium ceiling is the same as the stadium floor. Because if you stand on your head, the floor is the ceiling and the ceiling is the floor. It's a ring out. But your fight rocked. So as a bonus, I'll allow both you and Pycon to take my private lessons in two to three hundred years. Well, that's better than ten thousand. Let's just say that. That'll give me just enough time to whip back into shape. I've been too much of a couch potato to keep up with those boys now. And here is chapter two. Yeah, chapter one's pretty short, but this one's actually kind of lengthy. Years later on Earth, Goku's son, Gohan, the boy who saved the world against Cell, has become a teenager. With no more trips across the galaxy or lethal androids to fight, Goku has last been free to do his studies like his mother always wanted. Now Goku has decided to roll in high school with other students, ready to try his luck at a normal life. But we're gonna do this next time, so next time on... Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury, we're gonna be Gohan and do awesome things. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.